Hey everyone, today we're going to take a look at content dripping on your WordPress website with MemberPress. Content dripping is the process of releasing content out over time, instead of all at once. So on your WordPress website, this could be stuff like blog posts, pages, videos, podcasts, courses, individual course lessons and quizzes, downloads, and just about any other type of media that you can create or upload. It's like serving your audience bite-sized pieces of content instead of overwhelming them with a whole feast all at once. But why bother with dripping when you could just upload all your stuff and click publish? In this video, we'll go over some of content dripping's key benefits. First off, drip feeding content to your audience keeps them engaged and coming back to your site. If you release everything all at once, people might binge through it all and then peace out. But if you drip feed content, they gotta keep coming back for more which means more eyes on your stuff and more chances to interact with and sell to your audience. So for example, say you have an online course site. Giving all 50 courses at once can really overwhelm a brand new student. They might not know where to start or might be tempted to just skim through all of it at the same time, not really getting the true learning experience that you intended them to. They'll get frustrated, cancel their subscription, and never return, or worse, ask for a refund. But with content dripping, you can give them access to a few intro courses or lessons on day one, and then slowly release more advanced material to them over time. So you can create a classroom type of experience right on your MemberPress website. By breaking everything down into smaller, manageable chunks, you're making it easier for them to take it all in and stick with it. Second, content dripping saves you a lot of time. Say you teach Qatar online, and you wanna take your family on a vacation to the tropics for a month. You could really hunker down, slam a few Red Bulls, and create a month or even years worth of content all at the same time. And then set lessons to slowly release out over weeks and months. It'll be like you're a tutor still giving virtual lessons, but the process is all automated on your end. Your customers still get fresh content delivered to them on a regular basis, but you don't have to worry about your laptop melting away in the sun while you upload your lessons on the beach. Also, drip content can make your older content seem fresh and exciting. Dripping can breathe new life into your older content. All creators have those forgotten gems buried deep inside their archives. But just because they're old doesn't mean they're not valuable. By drip feeding this older content to your audience, you're giving it a chance to shine once again and feel like new, engaging material. So now that we've seen some perks of dripping content, let's see how to actually do it with MemberPress. I'm gonna give you a few quick tutorials on dripping some common pieces of content with MemberPress just to get you started. But remember, just about any type of content offering on your site can be dripped. If you can protect it with a MemberPress rule, you can drip it out. So get as creative as you want, plan out what content you want to drip, and then hop into the MemberPress rules to make it happen. So content dripping itself is set on MemberPress rules. So before you begin, on your site, you'll need to have one or more memberships created, which is how people buy access to your material. Also, you'll have to have your content on your website. It could be a page, a course, files, whatever you want. And you'll create a rule by going to MemberPress here on the left sidebar of your WordPress admin dashboard and rules. And click add new. And then you'll protect your content by selecting a rule type and targeting your specific content. And then select membership and select my membership here. And then to drip it out, Enable drip right here on the edit page for the rule. And then set the number right here of days, weeks, months, or years people with the membership or membership set on the rule would get access to the content after a certain trigger event selected from this dropdown occurs. So this could be when a member registers, it could be on a fixed date that you choose, meaning an exact date that you select, when someone purchases any membership set on this rule, or when someone buys a specific membership that you select here. So as you can see, you have complete control over who gets to see your content and exactly when. And just one note, throughout this video, I'm gonna be using both the options for member purchases any membership for this rule and member purchases a specific membership. Choosing member purchases any membership on this rule might be beneficial to you if you plan on adding more membership tiers to your website. That way, as you expand your site, all you have to do is add those tiers to your rules and the content will be automatically dripped out to those new memberships, just to save you a little time. But how you set up your rules and drip features will depend on your specific uses. 
So now that we've seen how content dripping is actually set on a rule, let's get into some specific use cases. So first, let's start with dripping WordPress pages. So a page itself can have anything that you want on it. You can embed videos, you can have download links to exclusive files, like eBooks, you can just have text, images, really anything. So you can have multiple pages on your site and then drip them out at whatever time that you want. So here in my sample site, I have a few pages with some video embeds on it, which you can see right here. Week one and week two. So there's some video lessons about piano playing and some text underneath. So say I want the page week one to be available to my members as soon as they purchase a membership. And then also say I want week two to be available one week after they buy a membership. So they'll get access to week one right away, and then they'll have to wait one week for week number two. So to make this happen, I'll go to member press, rules, and click add new. And from the drop down, select a single page. And then here, I'll start typing the name of my page, week one. And then select membership, and select my membership here. So what this rule is saying is that only those with this membership will get access to this page, week one. So now I'll go ahead and save the rule. So since I didn't set up dripping on this rule, customers will get access to this page week one as soon as they sign up. But it'll only be visible to members of my site. So now for my week two piano lesson page, I'll go to create a new rule again. And then again, I'll select a single page. And then I'll select week two. Then I'll select membership and then choose my membership again. And for this page, since I'm gonna delay the release of it or drip it out, I'll come down here to enable drip. And then I'll say one and week after member purchases and my membership. So this is saying to grant access to this content protected by this rule, in this case, my page, one week after someone buys my membership. So to make it take effect, I'll just click here to save the rule. And that's it. Now, when customers sign up for my membership, they'll get access to my week one page right away. And one week later, they'll get access to week two. And as far as the actual customer experience goes, you can set it up in a number of ways. So you could have your pages on your navigation menu. You could send the pages through email. You can have them on your member's account page or have them somewhere else on your site. So that's how to drip pages. Next up, I'll show you how to drip content within MemberPress courses. Now, there are all kinds of different ways that you can drip within courses. So right here, when creating a rule, you can see a list of MemberPress course specific rule types that you can use to target whatever you need within courses. You could protect all courses on your website, just a single course, or courses with a specific category or tag applied to them. So if you were trying to protect two or three courses, you could apply categories or tags to them all and then protect them that way. You see all content with course tag, and you can also protect all quizzes, single quizzes, all lessons, single lessons, and course sections, which we'll see in a bit. So as you can see, you have almost an unlimited number of ways to select what courses and components within a course to drip. So any way that you can think of dripping them out, you can achieve it with MemberPress rules. So just to show you one example, I have a MemberPress course I have built on my site right here. And all of my lessons and quizzes are divided up into sections, which you can see right here. So you can see this is a section, this is a section, etc. And if I expand the section, you can see the lessons inside of it. So how I want this to work for my members is that when someone buys a membership and signs up for my site, I want them to have instant access to the course and also instant access to the two lessons in this intro section here. So they'll be able to come in and take the first few lessons right away. And then each day, so one day, two days, etc., after buying the membership for course access, they'll get access to the lessons in the new section. So right away after signing up, they'll get the lessons in the intro section. And then one day after signing up, they'll get day one's lessons. And then one day after that, they'll get the lessons in day two, etc. So to make this happen, I'll go to member press and rules and add new. Now, I don't need to set up a rule for lessons in the intro section since they get access immediately. 
And I do have a rule protecting the whole course so only members can see it. So now on this rule, here in the dropdown, you would find course section. So this rule type lets you protect all lessons and quizzes within a section of a course, which we just saw. And then I'll type the name of my first section. So again, going back to my course, the first one you can see here is day one. So I'll go back to the rule and start typing day one and then select it here. And then I'll set this to membership and choose my membership. So now only people with my membership can access the lessons and the quizzes in this section. So next onto my drip. So I'll come down here and enable drip. And then set this to one day after a member purchases my membership. And then I'll save the rule. And then to protect my other sections, I would just create a new rule. So I'll go to create a new rule. And then the rule type again will be course section. And then I would just choose my next section, day two. And select my membership again. And then I'll come down here and enable drip. And this time I'll select two days after a member purchases my membership. And then save the rule. And then for my other sections, I would just continue this process to drip out my course over all the days. And that's how you drip out sections within a course. Now again, this is just one example of the many ways that you can drip content within courses. So you might have a bunch of courses on your website, and then you could drip out your entire courses week by week to members if you want to. And also remember that you can drip content on a fixed date as well. So it doesn't have to be a set number of time after a member signs up for a membership. You can actually set your content or courses to release on a specific date in the future that suits you best. So we're going to see how that works here in the next example. So next up, I'll show you how to drip feed downloadable files. Now again, with the actual customer experience, there are many ways to choose how this actually works on the front end of your website. Maybe you want to give members a page with all your download links on it. And then if someone tries to download a file that hasn't been dripped out yet, you can show them some sort of message that tells them that they'll have to wait to have access. Or maybe you want to configure some sort of way to only show files that have been dripped out to members. It's really all up to you about how you want your site to work. So to make it all happen, you can either drip out single files or add categories to your files to drip them out together. So you would just need the member press downloads add-on and then you can upload all your files with that. And then you could add tags and categories to them within the add-on. And then to protect them and drip them out, you would just go to member press rules and add a new rule. And then in the dropdown, you could select all files, which will just protect all the files on your site through member press downloads, a single file, files with file categories or tags. So let's just say I want to give an exclusive release of a specific file to my members on a specific date. So in that case, I could select a single file and then start typing the name of my file here and then select it. And then choose membership and pick my membership and enable drip. And then I'd select zero days after and choose fixed date. And then click this field here and use the calendar picker to select my date. And you can select an exact time too. And then save the rule. So now my one file will be released on this specific date and time that I set. So that's just a basic example, but you can really get creative with releasing your files with multiple rules, especially with file tags and categories. So give it a try on your site and see what you can come up with. The last thing I'll show you is how to drip partial content. Partial content lets you protect a chunk or a section of content, like a paragraph on a post or page with a rule. So to show you this, I have a post right here with some fiction writing on it. I want the first half of it to be readable to members immediately, and then the second half of the actual story to not be available for two weeks after a member signs up. I want to build a little suspense and then make my members wait a couple weeks before they finish the story. So here, when creating a new rule, I'll select a single post, and then I'll select my story post. So this is just targeting this one specific post. So only site members can see the entire post itself. And then I'll save the rule. So to actually hide the second half of my story now from members for two weeks, I need to create a new rule. And then from the dropdown, I'll select partial. 
and then give it a title that will let you, as the site administrator, know exactly what this rule is used for, just in case you have many rules on your site later on. And then select your membership and enable drip. And then I'll set this to two weeks after member buys my membership. And then I'll click here to save the rule. So with partial rules, here on the rule, if you expand this right here, you'll see some short codes that you can use to protect content with this rule, which for me will be half my post, which I want to drip out two weeks after members sign up. So how this will work is that your content will get sandwiched between these two short codes right here. So first, I'm going to copy this first part. So this part of the short code right here, which you can see it's at the beginning of the sample content. And then I'll go to edit my post here in this new tab. So here's the first half of my story. So now I'm going to find where the second half of my story starts. And then I'll paste the short code before it. And then I'll go back to my rule. And then I'll copy the second short code here, which you can see at the end of the sample content. And then I'll go back to my blog. And now I'll find the end of the story and paste it here. So now the second half of my story is sort of sandwiched between my two short codes. So now I'll save the post. Also, one other note on a poster page, if you open up the block inserter, and find MemberPress. There's also a handy MemberPress specific block type called Protected, which lets you achieve the same sort of content protection with a rule on a post or page without having to copy shortcodes. So you just insert that on a blog post and then put your content inside of it. But it's all up to you about how you want to do this particular process in your website. Now, before we see what this looks like, one other thing I'm going to set up is a custom unauthorized message just for this rule, which I can set up right on the rule. So here, back on the rule, if I go down to unauthorized access, I'll change the unauthorized message to custom. So this will be the message that my members see if they try to view the second half of my story before it's stripped out. And there is an unauthorized message, which is the message that people see when they don't have access to content set globally in the member press settings. But if you set one here in an individual rule, it'll override your global settings. So for this rule, I'll just paste my message here which just tells them to check back in two weeks to see the rest of the story. And then I'll save the rule to make my message take effect. So now I'm gonna to go to my membership and then open it here in a new incognito window and then do a fake test signup to create a test member that has an active subscription to my membership. So I'll enter some testing information some credit card information to complete the purchase. And I'll sign up as this test user. And then once the sign up goes through, you can see this test user is now a member of my website with a membership. So now I'll head to my story post. And you can see they have access to it. And you can see they have access to the first half of my story, which they got right away when buying a membership. But if I scroll down, instead of the second half, they see my unauthorized message that I just set up. So the whole post is protected with a rule so only members can see it. And the second half is protected with another rule that's got a drip on it. So members have to wait two weeks to keep reading. And that's it. You've now seen how to drip feed content with MemberPress. Again, you can drip out just about any type of content that you can imagine on your website. So get creative and come up with your own unique ways to drip out content. I hope this video has given you some ideas on how to better engage with your audience, keep things fresh, and keep them coming back for more with content dripping. See our knowledge base for more information on content dripping and all of MemberPress's profitable features. Also, be sure to follow our blog and YouTube channel for all of our latest tips and tricks on all things MemberPress. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to like, subscribe, and check out our other videos that makes getting MemberPress up and running a breeze.